How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzz. What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is a day of another day of another day that we call Wednesday. Anybody been said what's going to people? Hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as being safe on this day and stuff. Um, I was thinking I'll do a video today and stuff. I just like, you know, when I'm really out of it, I didn't feel like it. So I was like, I'm not going to do one and stuff. But I was like, let me just get on up. Because something, someone woke me up and it was like a spirit and stuff. But it is what it is. I want to talk to you about something that kind of bothered me a little bit. And as far as being who I am, as far as two spirits and stuff. And I had uh, my... My thing is, first I'm black, then to go from black one way, then to go to from black this way. It is hard enough already being a person of color, but then you go from a person of color to a person of a different gender, it can be even all so much more harder. And shout out to all my younger baby sisters out there, all my people that's like me, that's standing your truth, that's fighting back and forth as far as being a warrior within your own right. So God bless you. <clears throat> even my brothers, my um, two spirit brothers, even my gay brothers, but I'm talking to the girls like me and the trans men as well. I'm not talking about the gay people because at the end of the day, you could always say you're not gay and stuff like that, but that's us. We stand in that tree because there is nothing about us that we could just take it off and just go back the other way when we are already there. Now, if you don't understand this stuff, you're not walking in the shoes, um, that's fine. Because I understand everybody has an opinion. That's what people do. They judge. And the thing about it is that I learned within yourself as far as being a two-spirit person myself, we have to be much more of us a warrior. Now, you may say, well, Raven, what is a warrior? A warrior is someone who stands in the truth who also will be deceived by someone who looks exactly like them. Oh, she'll also learn that when she finds out the person that she was trying to help as far as the younger person will come back after they deceived her and try to be her friend. Now, due to the fact that she is a younger person and stuff, she'll say, well, you know what, I'm just going to chuck it up to you know, not having experience and not enough my smarts and stuff, but the only difference is with the warrior. She'll shrug it up, but don't hit it back up. You know what I mean? It's like, you done did your damage, leave it alone. And she'll allow you back in her life, just leave it alone, stay in the background. Because once she allow you back in her life, she's watching you. And a little small conversation, you know, to try to get it back to where it once was, it's not going to happen. Because she don't see you that way. She knows that she cannot trust you. She respects you as a young woman because you're like a little baby sister herself, but the respect level that you've gotten with her is officially gone. Now, some girls may say, you know what, Raven, I give them another chance, but me, myself, no. You don't have to tell me that if you light a fire on a stove, that it is hot. And I have to take my hand and put my hand in the fire and watch it burn and say, oh, that is hot. Once you tell me what it is, I can believe it, especially if I'm feeling the heat coming from it. I also learned as far as being a warrior, we learned that we may never, ever have a man. Because simple fact of the matter is that we are very strong. And a lot of times men want needy girls. Girls that are so weak, girls that are, help me with this, help me with that. She's not going to ask you because she already knows she's going to do it. She knows you got to be the one who provide. She knows she may have to get out there and stand and walk the damn streets and sound fucking body. And it's her soul to die because she knows at the end of the day. Ain't nobody really going to help her. The cavalry ain't coming. And when it comes time to somebody wants to take a life, she's already ready. Some girls get ready, but she stays ready. Now, some girls don't get ready because the fact that they're so lost up in the open lives as far as being beautiful and glamorous and stuff. But she's not that girl. She knows when she walks into the belly of the beast, she don't sit back there with a the makeup kit looking beautiful, stand up there painting her face. She said they're really ready. And she has, you would have no idea that she's ready. She's like the most humblest, the peacefulest, the laughing. She makes you laugh and everything and stuff like that. But reality, she's ready. And she don't know where it's going to come from. It's going to be a girl like her 
or it's going to be a guy, it's going to be the down low guy, or it's going to be somebody just hit people like her. But she stays right. And she lets people know what she is. Some girls like try to be, you know, secluded because they don't want anybody to know what they Oh, I just want to scrape for life. I just don't want, you know, in trouble and stuff like that. And the reason why she does that is for any reason that they want to do it. And I have no problem with that. But for her, she don't care. She'll go out and buy a pack of blonde hair. She know damn well blonde hair is the most spookable hair when it comes to, down to be a two-spirit transgender woman. She knows that that hair will get you spooked. And it also even make people question when they see a cis woman with blonde hair. It's that. It's that. She don't care. She knows that in order to save her sisters, she's got to stand out. She's got to do things that other girls won't do. And she don't expect them to do it. Because the simple fact of the matter is that there are very few that are chosen to be a warrior. Or work go to a job and stuff. And she knows damn well that she's not even qualified, but she's right there. She don't even care that she's not qualified. But she's sitting up there. And whatever she can, as far as a job and stuff, she knows what she's not. As far as being her authentic truth, she knows when she gets there, whatever it is, you got to train anyway. She knows all about the school and the system and how everything works. She knows that what she learns about that school, when it gets to that job, it's a totally different system. And they have to train you on that. She is a warrior. Because she don't care. She fights for what's right. Because she knows she got young ones watching her. And she's not perfect. She falls for balance and she hurts and she cries. And, and she, some things breaks her too. But reality, she knows she has to get back up. It doesn't matter how many times she fell down. It matters how many times she get back up. And she knows that the men that she slept with will be the ones judging her the most to make a fake profile, come back, talk about her like a dog. Knowing damn well he's one of the ones that got fucked by her. And I'm not saying he fucked her. She fucked him. But he doesn't want people to know. So they make a whole fake profile and come after her and tell you'll never be a woman, you'll never be a woman. That'd be the same one that she done fucked. And he's mad. Civil rights mad. Because he wants some more dick. And she's not supplying it to him anymore. Because she's the only one that can make him feel like a fucking woman. When he's around all his boys and he all hardcore. Thug the fuck up in here and still she knows it's true. But he doesn't want her to know that he's pissed off her because she's not sharing the dick with him anymore. So now he's mad. He'll make a fake profile and come after her and say, Oh, you'll never be a woman. You'll never be a woman. But yet still, he's more cut than her. His hole is more wider than hers. His hips shift way better than hers. He gyrates better than her in that bed where she's grinding and fucking him, making him feel like a woman as he goes home to his woman and his wife and his family. He takes pictures on Facebook and tells them, Look at my family. This is what real men do. So when I see two people in the picture, looks like two women. Where is the man? Because I'm looking at two women. I don't see a man. But she gets him out quiet because she's a warrior. She lets you get that. She knows how you roll. She knows how society is. So she'll say, okay, is that where we're at? Then that's where we're at. That is a warrior. Two-spirit warrior. And she stands back and she lets a lot of people take jabs and make fun of her. She already knows it's going to be a comment to her. She's waiting. She only answer back, you know why? Because she don't care. She knows that the toughest people are behind the scenes and the strongest ones that stand in front of the scenes. She knows that she may never in life get to her accolades and the rewards that she's deserved. But she's just said, okay, it's okay. My little baby sister knew I was out there. I may not be the best representative, but I was up there fist fighting and showing just how much glamour could be. Sometimes a pill is in your hand. Sometimes the pill is not all about the glamour. Sometimes you got to go back to him and help him and help you out. And when I say help him, help him, that means that before they help you out of a situation. Sometimes a pill and a needle in your arm to get that femininity and that softness about it is not going to work for you. When it comes down to the real deal as far as being a warrior. You know, and she knows the truth. That two spirits mean two, man and woman. She doesn't believe in that. Oh, I'm just an old woman. And she knows that she has a choice of identity. Whether she wants to sit down or piss when she piss. 
So she's not about the whole branding of the new trans, of the this and that. She's not about that shit because she says that she's a warrior. She don't give a fuck. She's like the real deal bitch. Either you like it or you don't. She's not here to make friends because she knows she got little ones watching behind her. And she's not, she's not perfect, but she stands in her truth because she knows that everything she does is going to be judged. It's going to be ridiculed, it's going to be torn apart, and sometimes those people who are actually judging her, putting her down, it's going to be people like her. She knows the story of ever to trying to get people as far as being people of color to stand behind her. She sees the bodies hanging from the trees. Can you imagine what it's like when you're a young white person and you ask them, Mommy, why is this person, black person, hanging from my tree? And she would say, well, they've done something bad, and that's why they're hanging from that tree. And reality is that that's not why they're hanging there. They're hanging there because they were different. And she already knows how the things go. She knows how it works. She knows that when she says her truth, that you're not going to be the kind of person going to stand with her. And I'm not saying everybody. But she knows that you're not going to be the one to stand with her. Because she already saw how it works. She knows when it comes down to it, when you sit back, you can still kill the ones who look like yourself. And don't care. She don't expect no any different from you. And I'm not saying she's going to go out and kill anybody other races. That's what I'm saying. But she does not expect anything else. When it comes down to others. You know, so I just want to talk about that and stuff. As far as being true to you, being a true warrior in your own right. And the difference about the matter is like, it takes strength that you don't know you have. Oh, when I was one way, it was one way. When you come this way, you'll find strength that you don't know you have. You'll find people that's going to come to your life that God's going to send little earth angels to give you messages. Messages that you don't even know these people. But they're going to think of the same thing to you. Walk past you in the street. It's okay. Don't you worry about it. You don't know them. Somebody say something. They're going out. You watch them going off on somebody. You don't even know this person. They, they are going off on somebody else or somebody saying something about you. Earth angels watching you. You don't even know it. And I always said before, you are not anointed. People can accept who you are. But they say God makes all creatures. I watch people sit back and talk about, oh, and if you gay and stuff, y'all open up the door for pedophilia. That basically, you can molest a child because it's in your DNA. I watch how they flip it. And I also watch people who are gay, who people on the down low, sit back and go, that's right, I understand where you're coming from. But yet still, you fucking them, gay people. So I know a hypocrite world is realistic. I realize one thing also within myself, living in my truth. Now, like a lot of women who talk about gay people, call them men's and men's and men's, stuff like that, would be the same ones fucking them men's and men's and men's and trans women. I get it. I've seen a lot. And as a war, you see it all. You may not like everything as far as being the truth, but it is one thing as a word you do, you accept it as the truth. We may not like a lot of things we say, but we have to accept it. Especially things we know we cannot change. Especially when we ask the coverage when we got other girls that are like, we're well, raving, stand up, raving, stand up. We need, to, we need to fight. We need to go after these people. I said, baby, don't do it. Because I'm going to tell you why. You go out there, you'll be fighting. You turn around, look at your coverage, ain't nobody standing in. There's very few who will actually ride it out with you. So be careful when you start these little missions and stuff. Because a lot of times you be looking for your cavalry and you actually got to be your cavalry. But if you've been hurt enough, baby, you could be the cavalry. You will turn shit out. Anyway, that being said. <sighs> so, hopefully you're having a great day and stuff. Knocking down doors, making your dreams come true. Everybody who said you couldn't do it, you're doing it. People who are not for you, hopefully you've gotten rid of them. And for those ones who say, I can't do it, then don't do it. You stay there with them until they finally get on your damn nerves. You find your strength, you move forward. Until then, hey, it's on you. All I can do is put the information out there. Whether you want to receive it, you receive it. If you don't, you don't. I'm not expecting everybody to rock me. I'm not expecting everybody to agree with me. I do know that the ones that's going to try to destroy me may be somebody who is like me or black or even white. 
they say all the way around the board, so it could be anything. I understand that a, 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 a black woman that starts being trans can sit there and try to help so many souls. And I can watch another trans woman come and get the accolades of everything that black woman has done. She becoming the woman of the year and has done nothing to get it, but just transition. When a black woman's life is after being extinct, being murdered on the street, she knows that her journeys could be much more harder even before the transition. And she could be out there rolling and stuff, and one could just put on a white dress and stand up there and go, Thank you very much. It's very hard. No one should die. But it was needed. And some of you said, Well, I don't understand why kids. It was needed. Because in order for you to get over to the other side, you have to have somebody who looks like them. For them to get it. Because when you're black and you're just another black person whining. But when you're white, you're white, you're standing your truth. You're a whole different level. Whoa, wait, what? What's up with this one? You pick, the universe picked the strongest man out here, the strongest white person out here to stand and say he's a woman now. So God sees all things. And it's going to be in the making. It's going to, it's, things are going to work out. Sure, you may not agree with her, but she's my sister. I accept her 100%. A lot of y'all don't do that because you're stuck in your ways. Jealousy is not the way. But I'm not here to judge you or convince you because I understand a lot of you are too much of the enemy within your own self to try to get you to see your truth. If it looks like you and it walks like you, you may not have the same background. There are some girls who are trans that got a lot of money and they black and they ain't doing that damn thing for y'all. But looking out for their damn self. And that's it. But it is what it is. Anyway, like I said before, follow me. I want you to hit my subscribe to my channel and stuff. Like I said before, follow me on Instagram. That's Raven underscore over. That's Raven underscore over. This week you can see a lot more things that I don't put on YouTube. Anyway, and remember one thing, because I know on Instagram. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. <laughs> and yes, this is two shirts. This is a shirt, and this is a shirt. And I just fixed it to make it look like I'm dressed. Anyway. I want to let you know I love you and thank you for watching Kiss the Reading. All right now, hit that subscribe button. And you know I'm trying to build my family. Come on, man, let's go on Instagram. Like I said before, once you come on Instagram, that's Raven underscore over. That's Raven underscore over. Follow me, I'll follow you back. You follow me, I'll follow you back. Like I said, I want to do a lot of things in reference to the reality. And you can fit the chance to see a lot of things I don't put in YouTube to bring up for reasons. And of course, a lot of things I do that you may be kind of questioning. And you know, a lot of stuff you may have always wondered. Stuff is sitting there but on Instagram and stuff. And like I said, Baby, follow me. I'll follow you back. Anyway, I just want to let you know one thing. Stand in your truth and love you.